Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is A disaster is coming from the north. Brothers and sisters, in line with all what I have shown you in the last two weeks about messages the Lord is bringing forth for the preparation of us because a great disaster is coming, because we need to prepare, prepare, prepare. The word from Judy Green and from Aaron and everything fitting perfectly together for such a time as this. Now we have another information from our warrior brother Chris. And the Lord has told him to have a look and to read Jeremiah 4. And Jeremiah 4 is a disaster from the north. Announce in Judah, proclaim in Jerusalem, and say, Blow the ram's horn throughout the land. Cry aloud and say, Assemble yourselves, and let us flee to the fortified cities. Raise a signal flag toward Zion. Seek refuge. Do not delay. For I am bringing disaster from the north, and terrible destruction. A lion has gone up from his thicket, and a destroyer of nations has set out. He has left his lair to lay waste your land. Your cities will be reduced to ruins and lie uninhabited. So put on sackcloth. Mourn and wail, for the fierce anger of the Lord has not turned away from us. In that day, declares the Lord, the king and officials will lose their courage, the priests will tremble in fear, and the prophets will be astounded. Then I said, Ah, Lord, how completely you have deceived this people in Jerusalem by saying, You will have peace while this word is at our throats. Brothers and sisters, this is fitting perfectly with what is coming. A disaster from the north, Jeremiah 4 fulfillment. And it will not stop in Ukraine. It will not stop there. It will continue. It will grow bigger and bigger because even we know, even if there would be a peace agreement, and there might be one, because when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction will come onto them. That does not mean that, for example, the sanction will stop. It won't. And because of this, there will be more strife and nations against nations and brothers against brothers, as we see right now, because the Iranian people are also from the, from the root Russians. So Russians against Russians, brothers against brothers and sisters against sisters. All this is getting fulfilled right in front of your eyes. So what can you do? Prepare, prepare, prepare. Stand ready, because the next move is a move of the kingdom of God. The next move is the opening of the portal. The next move is a flash of light that will change you and transform you. The next move is God's mighty hand to be seen. And then Jesus on earth, and we are so close to it. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is waking up all the warriors and they're getting dreams and vision like our warrior brother Chris now about Jeremiah 4, fitting so perfectly. It is all about Zion. Cry towards the battle, cry to Zion. Yes, it is time for the remnant army of Zion to step forward, to stand against the evil forces. This is a moment in time. And the world is full of deception. At the end of Jeremiah 4 reads, they will say, oh, peace and safety. But then the sword is at their throat. Brothers and sisters, it is important to understand that the disaster from the north is coming and it will not stop there. This is just the beginning of the sorrows and the beginning of the birth pains. As we are beginning now and starting with the sealed tribulation, all is fitting perfectly, everything was planned, everything is prepared, and the next move is the mighty hand of the Lord to be seen. 
where are you standing? If you remain in the world, you will be caught up in wars, famines, pestilences, death, and Hades will overrun you. And you will accept, because of that suffering, the Antichrist as a world ruler. But if you stay with the kingdom of God, and you might even have volunteered to serve him in this moment of time, then you will receive resources and blessings and support to stand against the evil flood. And brothers and sisters, is that a pattern what we see about all the support coming in from the West for the UK to stand against the aggressor of the East? Brothers and sisters, it's up to you to make a decision here. But you can see that the Lord is waking us all up and telling us it is time. War is coming. This is not anymore a spiritual thing. This is now the physical manifestation here on earth. It is coming. It is decreed. There is no stopping of it. And it will be fulfilled. Because everything what in the book of Revelation is written will come to pass. And there will be this great snare that will come over the whole world and it has already started. A snare that the evil side has already put forth through all, throughout all the leaders of the world. Not only in the East, but also in the West. Because they are all working for the same goal, to control the world. What they have not achieved with the toxin, they will now achieve with war. And then famine, and then more pestilences. And then death and Hades will come. There, at that time, we will have the Antichrist in full power. It is all there. Brothers and sisters, you can see it with your own eyes. And the Lord is telling our warrior brother Chris, for example, go and read Jeremiah 4. Why he points to Jeremiah 4? Because that is the scripture of the disaster from the north. And also this disaster could not have been averted. It came... And it took them all. The ones who were sleeping and slumbering, they were all becoming slaves. And now it's the time again for the sleeping churches to become slaves to the new world order, become slaves to new Egypt. We have said that all along. And this is a moment in time when you need to prepare. This is a moment in time when we all need to fill the watches. This is a moment in time when we need to build the safe havens. It is very important. It is very important. Let me read it again. The disaster from the north. Announce in Judah, proclaim in Jerusalem and say, Blow the ram's horn throughout the land. Cry aloud and say, Assemble yourselves. The remnant army of New Zion, assemble yourselves and let us flee to the fortified cities. Get to the safe havens. Raise a signal flag towards Zion. Make Zion your commanding head office. The, the new Zion is the part where the commander in chief Jesus will take you to the, to the battlefields. Seek refuge, do not delay. For I am bringing disaster from the north and terrible destruction. A lion has gone up from his thicket. This is not only Putin as a Putin as a person, but it's a whole evil empire that has come out from his thicket. That includes Putin, um, Assad from Syria, this Ayatollahs from Iran, all this one, this fellow from North Korea, all this one are the lions that are coming out of the thicket. And the destroyer of nations has set up. He has left his lair. We see it with our own eyes to lay waste your land. Your cities will be reduced to ruins and lie uninhabited. So put on sackcloth, mourn and wail. That means prepare yourself and stand with the kingdom of God. Do not seek the world, but seek the kingdom of God first and foremost, because that is the only way. For the fierce anger of the Lord has not turned away from us. Brothers and sisters, it is not only a prophecy for Jerusalem. It is not only a prophecy for Ukraine. It's not only a prophecy for Europe. It is also especially a prophecy for what we call the first Babylon. That would be New York and the United States. There is somebody who will come and destroy the nation. That's what the Lord is telling you. And you need to prepare. Are you ready? Are you ready to leave your place? Are you ready to go to 
entire territory. Are you ready to escape the tsunamis that's coming and the earthquakes on the uh, the tsunamis on the east side and the earthquakes on the west side? Are you ready? The stone throw is so very close, brothers and sisters. Jesus is coming. That means the enemy will also start to operate in full swing. That's the reason why it is you are being warned in a full book in the scriptures, the book of Revelation, that this time would come and now it is here. You see this great polarization now between the whole countries in the world. Everyone is taking his position so that nation can come against nation, and brothers against brothers and sisters against sisters. This is a moment in time that the Lord has warned us. But he has also said that when you focus on Zion, new Zion, when you focus, when you are the remnant army, when you assemble together, when you come together and make it together with the watches and with the safe havens, the places of refuge, then you will make it. Then you will be secured. Then you will be protected and, and, uh, and covered by the Father. That's the reason why I'm telling you every day to fill it up and to be part of it and to let us build it because it's time. The time is so short. Even for the harvest, two and a half years is nothing for a multitude closed in white. But we need to step forward now. We cannot even waste a minute. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Brothers and sisters, it is so important. I will link that video again under this one. And you can look and have a look at Jeremiah 4 by yourself. A great disaster is coming from the north. Prepare yourself. Praise for impact, especially you people who are in the United States. Praise for impact. But we know that the snare will come over the whole world. Luke 21, a snare will come over the whole world and the world will not escape. And if you're part of the slumbering churches, then you will become a slave to the new Egypt, to the new world order, with the new Pharaoh, Mr. O. It is coming. And this man is sent out to be a destroyer of nations. And he is a fulfillment of Jeremiah 4 in our time. Brothers and sisters, how many warnings do you need to step forward now and to put full trust in the Father and to be part of it all and to fill the watches and to help me to build the safe haven? It's a decision of life and death. You can see it in Jeremiah 4. It is clearly said there. If you do not do something, you must raise the signal flag now. You must flee to the fortified cities now. But there is no fortified cities yet because we have to build it. Yes, but it is an ongoing process to raise the signal flag towards, to make your commitment towards New Zealand. It is time because a disaster is coming from the north. Brothers and sisters, I love you all so dearly and I do not want to bring you bad news. But if you are not preparing now, then it will be too late. And then you will not be a harvest worker or a powerful warrior in the remnant army, but you will become a slave in New Egypt. This is a moment in time when the army must raise. This is a moment in time when you have to commit everything to New Zion. This is a moment in time when you have to Place the kingdom of the Father and its righteousness first. Do not worry about jobs. Do not worry about what is coming, your pension payment. There is nothing there anymore. It will all be destroyed. We, are in, we have entered the last 14 years to the Millennium Kingdom. And great tribulations are coming. These are the birth pangs as written in the scripture. Now it's the time. For you to decide what to do. Commit yourself completely to what you were trained for, what you were called for, what you were separated for, and fulfill it all. The goal that the Father has set, let it be fulfilled. In Jesus' name I pray. Let everything be there. Let the washers be full. Let the funds be available for the safe haven, so that fire can fall from heaven, to protect all safe havens in the world. 
that altar must be built and I will build it. The enemy cannot stop me. My brokenness cannot stop me. My sickness cannot stop me. I will build that altar because the Lord has said, Michael, you have to do that and it must be in that place and it will be in that place. It is the will of the Father and it will be done. But you can be part of it. You can make your name known in the heavens for being part of it. This is the moment that we prepare. This is not anymore just a prophetic word, just a end time prophetic word. This is now the manifestation of it all, the time when the disaster is coming from the north. And so we have to do much more than what we have done before. Before it was just spiritual. We were seeking it, taking it to the throne of the Father whatsoever. But now we are entering a physical phase. That's what I have told you. We are going to pass over where the physical manifestation will start, 50-50 of physical manifestation. And we see it so clearly. Now you also have to step forward physically. Everything what is physically now you have to put for the kingdom. You have to stand up and you have to move forward and you have to serve now. This is a moment in time. Brothers and sisters, I hope you understand that the disaster has already started to move from the north. And the destroyer of nation is called Boaz and he has left his lair. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, warrior brother Chris, for bringing this to my attention so that I could make this video. You are blessed beyond measure. May the Lord keep you always. Amen and Amen.